Hey guys, and welcome back to Signalis. Let's continue, shall we? So, a friend of mine um, has just sent me a mod for this game that actually allows you to have eight inventory slots, which, my god, you know, it sounds like just two more inventory slots, but that would make so much difference. The only problem, it's not compatible with the Game Pass version of the game. So, yeah. Um, that really sucks. I don't know why. I, I guess they just don't like um, the way the Game Pass versions of the games work. Uh, oh, hello. I guess they don't allow mods or tampering with the files. I'm hoping that's something that's going to change. Because, honestly, I think if you had eight inventory slots in this game... Um, that would, it would make so much difference. Like, for instance, the flashlight. The, uh, the fact that that's an optional extra that you have to take with you, considering it's an item that you pretty much always need, um, is a bit annoying. And essentially everything that you put in the equ uh, equipment slot, I think, should be in the equipment slot, not the inventory. But, um, yeah, so anyway, thanks, dude. But unfortunately, I just can't use it. And I would have used it as well. So, we're in the pipe works now. Let's go have a look. Ooh. Acetone. Now that... will melt paint. The lock is defective. Door cannot be opened. That's fine. We'll get the repair spray as well. The lock is defective. Okay. So, I guess we can't open any of these lockers right so we can now get the card I guess ooh what have we got here blue diskette nice and 12 millimeter ammo nice alright kind of like a small thing to find in that area but it worked pretty bloody well I guess we can't take this back or anything no cool one and done once it's been used it's all good right sweet pipe works is done let's go back to our office jiggle our junk around I guess we can just slip one of those discs straight into the computer as well let's have a little look oh can we actually examine the disc uh there's no label on the disc apart from the manufacturer's mark. Well, that's not great, is it? So I guess maybe it doesn't actually matter which disc goes in which blue diskette. Ooh. Okay, so we've got the antenna. Oh. <laughs> Uh, yeah. About that. Right, so we can actually... Alright, I'm guessing... We need to, like, align this up... With something. I mean, I have no idea what. I guess that's probably... Can we go back? Yeah. Due to the power rationing, only a limited number of antennas in the grid are powered at a time. To determine which antennas are currently powered, use the antenna program to triangulate the correct antenna. Take note of the antenna where the test signal can be heard on both dishes in the transmit program. Enter the antenna number and select the correct sound file to broadcast. Ah. Right, I see. Yeah, I'm guessing we're coming back to this bit later. Alright. That's fine. So, we're going to use that in a minute. We don't need that. Don't need that. No way. We actually have 18 repair sprays. Jeez. Okay. Um, 
So we still got the rifle. Rev we got so much like revolver ammo. We got so much. Oh god. Okay. Grenade like eight grenade shells. Signal flare shells. Might be worth even using the signal flare, maybe. Because I mean that way at least we could burn the enemies. I guess. Be a one hit kill sort of dealio, surely. Yeah, let's just use that. Okay, so we've got the acetone on us. Let's go see if we can't get that photo. Which was in the dormitory, which was just over here. Okay. Let's have a little look. So. Yep, use the acetone. We'll pick up the lovers. What does that give us? A tarot card depicting the sixth major arcanum, lovers. Okay. Right, well, I'm not sure what we do with that, but it's something else that we've actually collected now. So I guess we can go drop that back. That's the other thing as well. You like literally, if you find something new, you have to pretty much drop it straight back because there's no point carrying anything on uh, anything other than the items that you absolutely need at the time. Um, right, let's drop that back and uh, uh, so let's have a look ruined department we've done all that Disinf oh right let's go and have a look in the meat grinder then which apparently is a room that we need to go and investigate through there okay cool that's got to be the room of the door see I've got notes and things here with me but they don't exactly point me in the exact direction of what we're doing so it's got to be through there okay okay let's go so I think cause my notes say we should have been in there by now right here we go got ya ah yum uh, I guess we'll take the stun rod oh god okay is this the right this is the meat grinder cool Seems to be broken. It looks safe to drop through to the floor below. Ah, uh, sure. Alright, well, it looks like our friend was in some serious trouble before things went truly to pot. This is going to be bad, isn't it? Because we're going to have, like, oh no. Perhaps we should have emptied out everything before we came down here. Because we're going to have loads of items to pick up now, aren't we? And uh, we don't... Oh, ah. So that's the tower. There's like teeth there. Rations, rations. Oof, not great. And we're full of... Yeah, our inventory is full. Not great. Million starve as Imperial blockade continues. During the ongoing transit of uh, Kaizia, ration shipments to Vinta have been disrupted by Imperial forces again. Millions of Eurasian citizens must starve for yet another month as Imperial missile frigates in Kaizia orbit critically damaged one of our humanitarian convoys on the way to Vinta, sending diplomatic efforts with the Empire into another crisis. Oof. See, I want to know more about the war that's happening. The orbit of Kaitzia will continue to block free travel between Vinta, uh, Rotfront, and Helm 
Helmut for another eight seasons, which leaves our libera uh, liberation troops on Vinter stranded on the desolate ocean world with minimal support. Convoys will continue to be sent despite the Imperial blockade. Only through perseverance can we rebuild what remains of Vinter. Yeah, so this war that's between these guys and the Empire definitely isn't going well for these guys. At all. Okay. Right, so we've already got that. So we've got the tower. What's that? Oh, 8mm ammo. We want the 8mm ammo. Ah, oh, such a kick in the dick. Shotgun shells that we can't take. Son of a bitch, man. Oh, right. Reload. Reload. Come on. Okay, right, let's reload. That's a problem. Okay. This is a big problem. So what we can actually do here, we can reload. And where are we? We can shoot this thing and hopefully it will burn to death. But I don't know. Right, reload again. This is not a great room to be in, to be honest. Uh, let's use the health. Because we could probably use it. Right, let's get rid of you. Alright, so we just got the one. Just got her. I'm guessing if we shoot her, she's kind of going to harmlessly bounce off her. So, what we could do instead is use that. And I don't know. Alright, okay. I'm not 100% sure how that is working. Or should I say I'm not really 100% sure how that is not working. Oh, good. Right, let's get out of here. <laughs> let's get out of here. Um, right. That's bad. The good news is we now have picked that up. Man, I wish there was a shortcut to turn the radio off. But we're going to need it in the next room anyway. So let's go. Right, 204. 204. I cannot see shit. Alright, let's try going to... No. 204 here. The man, these are so annoying. 204 it was. Okay. Though, that doesn't really... Right, so that's locked. Requires a key. So now we need 2028. Right, she's coming back. Right, so the video is kind of failing here. 249. Now, I'm guessing this is going to be another thing where we run around. And what we want to happen doesn't happen. Oh, yep. It's... Yep, okay. So if we... Oh, shit. If we actually run into her, we get hurt. Which is really bad. Alright, cool. They're all dead now. Which... Man, that did not go well for us at all. Not convinced that was worth it for us at all either. Now the trouble is, she's got that bloody shield. Okay. Oh, we got her. Okay, that somehow worked. Which is fine. You know what? Just fucking die and burn. We are kind of... 
up a certain creek without a certain paddle here. Ah, oh, dude. Okay. For the first... Oh, look. There's like a silhouette of... Somebody. Oh. Take another disposable stun rod. I guess. And the bullets. I guess. Um, why not, right? Oh, sweet. Okay. Very lucky. Very, very lucky. That was a bit bleak for a minute for a hot minute uh stun rods can go back because they i don't know what was going on with that stun rod it didn't seem to be doing anything if i'm being honest with you um if it was doing something i didn't <laughs> i didn't tell we got the patient key cool we'll have the patient key uh and a repair spray because sure Drop that back. How much health do we have now? We're on like medium health. Grab another one. And put them back. Alright. You know, I'm not too bothered about the fact that we've just killed God knows how many enemies here. Like permanently. So we've uh, room 0512. Not sure. I mean, patient room, I'm guessing that's up in the hospital wing. Should we start taking thermite charges? I don't know, man. I mean, we've got so many handgun bullets. Let's just take the handgun again. Actually, what we could do... Put the handgun back. Let's take the explosive ammo. And you can kind of see my problem with this gun. Or should I say, with the explosive shells. Why are they not loading? There we go, cool. Well, maybe I was just wrong. Maybe they are kind of better than I thought they were. Right, so we've got more bloody ammo for our handgun. For our revolver. Which is good, not knocking it. Because how many shots we've got for the revolver now? We've got six in it. And 37. Holy shit. So we've got that, that. That's a lot of ammo for the revolver. Alright. Um, so let's continue exploring here, I guess. Can't go through there. What did I say? Oh, the lock is defective. Cool. Yeah. That's fine. Now. We can go through here. Should have dropped the tarot card. Again, that's oh god damn it! You know what? Oh, going badly, going badly. Literally taking a kick in. You see what I mean with the explosive ammo? I don't really get it. It kind of seems pointless. So we can't go through there. We can go through there. And we can go through there. Oh. Alright, I'm not really sure what happened. I didn't actually want to go through that door, but fine. I think the explosive ammo... Ah. Right, well... The matrix code scanner. So we can't do anything with that yet. Yeah, that explosive ammo. Ooh, dear. Where did that thing come from? Definitely should disintegrate the enemies, I think. So. Unlocked from the other side. Okay. <clears throat> okay. So, with that... We could go back to the item box and actually grab a real weapon. Because, yeah, this explosive launcher thing just sucks ass. Which is fine, I suppose. Um, we shall grab the revolver. We 
Right. So. Let's have... Oh, wait, hang on. Red. Red means... Red means we can't open it at all. So... Ah, it's got to be that one down there. By the magpie box. Alright, so I guess we're going back downstairs. Well, let's go. Um... So we're in there, so let's go through here. And down, if that's a... Th oh, wait, hang on. Uh, okay, we've got the revolver, but we've only taken six bullets for it, because I'm a stupid ass. Oof, right. Metro platform. Don't want no business from her. Lock is defective. That's fine. Alright, cool. That works. Now, yeah, these guys in here should be fried. So that's locked. Requires a key. Alright. Uh, oh. Now, we've got the fire escape there. Did we get... Ah, wait. Did we actually try this fire escape? We didn't, did we? Where does that open? Let's have a little peep. Might actually be... Okay, no. It is going up. Ah. All right. Oh. Great. Wonderful. All right, well, let's keep going up then. Ah, oh, shit. Oh, God. If I could aim at the right thing, I'd be happy. Might go down here. Maybe. Nope, we're good. And I exited the room when I didn't want to. Alright, I think we're okay. Right, let's just try and tune in and kill these things. Alright, that was really easy. I don't know why it was so hard that other time we did it, to be honest. Oh. One second, guys. Sorry about that. Everybody's trying to phone me today. Okay, cool. So, what the hell is that? Reunification. Reunification at any cost. Orbital defense cannon battery. Buy-in and kits in our crosshairs. Artillery divisions of the People's Army. Yeah, I think that's just like propaganda. They're kind of make trying to make it sound out like the war's going like well but I don't think it actually is going so well okay this is not good yeah so we've got another safe can't carry the thermite can't carry the nitro express we've got a Bioresonance technology and its limitations. No other technology has shaped our nation as uh, bioresonance has. We would, uh, would we ever have been able to free ourselves from the stranglehold of the empire without the support of the replicas? Ah, maybe it is just these guys that have the replicas. Essential technologies like. Uh, chemo forming and induced gravity would be impossible without bioresonance technology. To 
Despite that, it feels like we've made little effort to really understand or replicate the bioresonant effects with conventional technology. Our progress in the development of electronics and microprocessors has stagnated for nearly a century now as we focus solely on new ways to instrumentalize this barely understood phenomenon. Take replica production for example. The process of duplicating a neural pattern from a gestalt host to a replica brain is still not fully understood. How does synchrocity uh, happen? Why is the duplicate imperfect? What happens to pre-existing patterns in the receiving brain? Ah. Recreating a replica purely with microprocessors and digital programming may be far out of reach, but I believe we've come uh, become overly dependent on a poorly understood technology controlled solely by a few gifted individuals. It may not be long before we're back where we were under the Empire. So, yeah, they're saying that this Gestalt technology or this replicant technology might actually lead them back down the path of being under the thumb by a few people in charge. Interesting stuff. So they don't exactly understand. I'm guessing these are the only guys that have the replica technology. All right. Which is kind of a cool concept. In all fairness. Okay. Ah, oh, shit. Right, run. Just run. Can't go there. Can't go through that. Or that can go through here. Cool. Uh, oh. No space for shotgun shells. Of course there isn't. There's medical patches there. No space to carry the 8mm ammo. And no space to carry the diskette. God damn it. Okay. So that's where the magpie box room is. Can we? Oof. Yep, we can unlock that from the other side. Okay, can we actually go through it? It's really difficult to go through doors sometimes. Really difficult. Right, so we've got the butterfly room there. We've got the magpie room there. We need to go back. Upstairs. God damn. Yeah, we need to go back upstairs. Okay, I was going to burn that thing, but I was going to burn both of them, but I guess that's not happening now. Yeah, let's just go straight downstairs. Get some healing. And some ammo. And then we need to go back upstairs. to uh, loot those items. Oh, man. Hello. Yeah, they really overdid it with the inventory, man. It's just... Oh, it's so irritating. Right, let's drop that, that, that. Let's get some more ammo. Um, sure. I don't know if we can actually... Yeah, you can't actually reload the revolver when you're on the screen either, which is kind of annoying. Um, okay, let's load up some more bullets. And then, what actually... I don't know if I want to take the revolver, to be honest. Because I get the feeling we really should be saving it. Right, we're going to go use the patient key. Um, and we're going to take that. Let's take some shotgun shells. I don't feel, to be honest, like you really get, excuse the pun, a lot of bang for your buck with the shotgun. 
really doesn't feel like it. Like that, the weapon just seems to run dry really fast, and yeah, he, mm, it doesn't seem to be that much more capable than the handgun. But anyway, guys, when we come back, we are going to uh, use the patient key and try and find uh, all those other items back upstairs. See, I'm not sure whether to do that off camera or not because we're just wasting so much time going back and forth picking up items. Well, technically, we've got to get a key item, haven't we? So we won't. We will, I think. Yeah, we'll do that. And we'll take some thermite along for the ride as well because whatever we find will kill and burn. So thanks for watching, guys, and as always, until next time. Thank you.